Okay, we're going to do a Cooking with Coach Rob video. Um, now, I got some all-beef hot dogs from the warehouse earlier today. So I'm going to cook a couple up for myself. I'm not sure if we've done a video on this um, 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 before, but we're going to cook it on the... Like, we could cook it on the, um, on the grill here that you've seen other videos in the past. Right, but tonight we're going to cook it in the air fryer here. Remember the Ham the I'm uh, not Hamilton Beach, but Tifo Air Fire. There's a couple of videos on my um, YouTube channel uh, on this, and we got the basket in here that we're gonna cook it in. So we'll bring you back in a second when I got the hot dogs inside. Okay, and you saw how they were wrapped. Um, so we got the two hot dogs in here. I didn't put any spray on this. I guess I should have. So we're gonna close it up now, and we're gonna push the button here you can see some of the features here it's going to take several minutes to cook it i don't really have a timeline on it because i like them well done and over here on the stove we're going to toast some buns up right but i got to move this out of the way so we'll get that we'll get that going and we'll bring you back Okay, as you can see, we got our hot dog buns here on the plate, like semi ready to go. Then we're gonna put it on the pan over here to toast them up. And our hot dogs are, are, are still going good here. But we like the hot dogs almost burnt, right? So we're gonna get these buns on, on, that, on the frying pan pretty quick. As you can see, we got the buns well buttered up and we got our our spinner here for when we put the we're gonna put some relish on and some mustard but we'll just bring it back over here just to show you how they're coming up they're coming up pretty good we do have our our tongs here we're gonna turn them turn them a bit oh they're looking pretty good All right so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this back on the cooking more and we're gonna bring our buns from over here See, they're all nice and buttered up. It's good to have lots of uh, margarine on or butter. We're going to put them on here. We got that on minimum. <clears throat> now, when I worked at the Hudson's Bay in Victoria in the cafeteria up there, we had a, a flat a flat top. Um, I think you see it in, in some of the, in, in one of the videos I've done. And it's, um, and it was great because you would just line up all the buns for like for the customers. We'd make the beef dips. Right now, I don't know that they were so good. We cut the beef from the actual beef. It's too bad I didn't have video of that, but it'd be kind of hard to videotape when you were working back then. Um, but yeah, so uh, maybe in an episode we'll make a beef dip. We'll have to go to the deli and get some deli beef, but that will be okay. Or we could actually cook a small roast beef one day if you guys would like me to. I know my mom and dad, back when I lived at home, um, we used to do it um, often on a Sunday, so so that'd be kind of neat. Maybe we'll do a Sunday um, um, roast beef one of these days. So uh, as you can see, there they're on, they're cooking, and we got we got these coming along. And while we're waiting, we can watch YouTube videos. So we got a TV up here that I can watch YouTube videos when we're um, cooking. And right now we're going to go into the fridge, and we're going to bring out. We'll bring out our relish and we'll put the relish over here and at the same time we'll bring out the mustard in this case it's mustard the brand is is deli market yellow mustard right and we got the um the, the coronation relish we'll put that on the buns when we're ready and we'll continue watching youtube and we'll keep an eye on the buns here we don't want to burn the buns i think i did that in one episode didn't i but anyway, um, please like and subscribe to this channel and um, other channels um, that you watch. Uh, of course, we're watching Canuck Clay up there. He has a great insight on the Vancouver Canucks and NHL um, topics. So please check out his channel if you can. And we're going to continue on here. Okay, as you can see, we've got our buns already with the mustard and relish on. So we're going to go over here. We're going to actually turn this off now. Right, we're actually going to unplug it. I don't leave anything plugged in in the kitchen when I'm not using it. Well, I do the Keurig because I use it every morning. And you can see, oh, wow, they're perfect. Now, this one here, 
we left round, right? But this other one here, I thought I would butterfly it just so you can see how well cooked it is. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna plate it up, then we'll bring you to the, to the kitchen table and we'll show you the finished product. Oh, as you can see, the hot dog is, <clears throat> it looks pretty good. So we're gonna be really careful because these are gonna be hot and we're, we'll put the camera on the stand there because, you know, recently, if you saw the previous video, what, what we filmed was the opening of of um of that right in the uh, in an earlier video so we're going to put the camera on the stand and we'll um, um give you our our impressions on how how well it tastes thanks so we're going to take our first bite we got our beverage here and um this is going to be good it's going to be super hot so you have to be super careful when you when you take your first bite but everyone knows that but it's good to to say it and if I, I do have a fork here if things go amiss if they fall apart because I did put quite a bit of um relish and mustard on just to make it a bit juicier. But that that's good though, eh? <clears throat> so yeah, please comment if you like me doing these videos where I'm actually cooking something and eating it rather than just heating up a microwave box like but those ones are fun too. Mm. Well, I think that turned out pretty good. Right, so you don't need to see me eat the whole hot dog. That would be kind of boring, right? Even though some guys do it. There's one guy that does <clears throat> 24 hour stealth camping and half the time he's <coughs> eating food. Um, but that's all right. That's his video, and he has lots of channel, lots of channel followers. So everyone, please like and subscribe, and um, we'll do another video of some kind like really soon. And um, yeah, okay. Uh, oh, somebody was asking me in another video what the sign was behind here. Um, up there, you can see the daily dinner deals. Uh, maybe we'll do a proper video on that in just a sec. Somebody was asking where this is from. Well, this is from the downtown bay in Victoria, BC. Now, this sign is from 1995 when I worked at the original store on the on the on Douglas Street. Um, not not the location where it is now, but 701 Douglas. And this was the evening dinner deals. Like, like look how cheap it was back then. That's two dinners for 6.99. Like the, the roast beef, the chicken pot pie, right? Like you can see it there. It's uh, oh, fish and chips, right? Two piece fish and chips, roast beef, chicken pot pie, and that and that, and that was like four dinners for twelve ninety nine, or you could buy a single dinner. I think it says, um, the single dinner is. It was three fifty nine for a single dinner. Can you imagine that? Like back in nineteen ninety five, now um, it would be a lot more than that. But anyway, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.